The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Byron, I'm not gonna ask you this question because you're not cool enough, but I'll ask Graves. Graves, are you ready to walk with Elias? Negative, Ghost Rider. kimono tonight. You know what WWE stands for, right? Oh, go ahead. We Ryan. want earplugs. Walk with Elias. Listen, you guys know Elias' lullabies are the number one cause of insomnia in the entire world. All right, I'll just answer my own question. Yeah, I knew that, if they are. Monday Night Raw! Welcome to Balor Club! One of the most incredible athletes to ever step foot in Monday Night Raw, Finn Balor, first ever Universal Champion. Bonafide superstar the world over. Finn Balor seems to get better, faster, stronger, and more dangerous every single week in WWE. Making his way to the ring, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias. You can just feel the widespread respect that the WWE Universe has the for Finn Balor. Introducing the champion from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. He is the Intercontinental Champion. Finn Balor! What a night!
This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike, sometimes with a six string on their back. Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I think we should take up something like making model airplanes instead of live musical performances. If those qualify as such. What a strike. Nailed it. I'll break your crown. This might be it. Oh, my. Nailed it. Oof. Right to the back of the neck. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh. Right across the back of the neck. Slammed down hard. What impact! Beautiful technique. Drop kick! It hits the mark. Elias getting put in check here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he rides. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Vicious knee. Knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. What a strike. Right on the mark. Buster. Oh, nasty. The elbow. Oh, what height. Elias definitely tiring out there. The challenger is starting to feel the pressure of this high-profile championship match. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. You know, I thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested. I guess that's not the case, though. There may be no stopping him. What a stomp. Good grief. Targeting the back. Very effective. Leaping high! Harsh impact. You gotta believe this one's over. A barrage of strikes. Endless. When we first were introduced to Elias in NXT, he called himself the Drifter. He'd take his music on the road, randomly appear in the audience, and would pop in to compete in the champion into the cover. Never say die attitude out of him. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Dropkick hits the mark. Byron brought up Elias' NXT run. Much like I wish I had seen some shows in Asbury Park in the 70s, I would have loved to be at ringside during Elias' time in NXT. Those NXT crowds really should have appreciated those glory days. Good heavens, Cole. You are delusional. I was there for Elias' NXT performances, and he's somehow become an even worse musician with experience. I will say he's become better in the ring once he puts down that guitar that he can't actually play. Ooh, what impact. Boom! <laughs> Finn Balor has competed around the world under several names, but why he chose his moniker in WWE speaks to who he is the most, Corey. That's right. Ripped out of the pages of Irish mythology, Finn McCool was a hero who battled the evil one-eyed demon king known as Balor. It's a story Finn always uses as a source of power. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, right to the face. Guys, there's more to Finn Balor's name than what Corey brought up. Finn's name is also a tribute to his dad, Finton, who taught his son what it meant to have tireless work ethic. Certainly paying tribute to your father and Demon Slayers is more fitting. Byron, I think Finn Balor's due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. There he comes! Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. This one's over, guys. Finn Balor can draw the curtains on this one. Ooh! So much has been said about Finn Balor being the first WWE Universal Champion, but the challenge he overcame to gain that opportunity shouldn't be overlooked. Yeah, a week after the 2016 draft, Finn Balor's debut ushered in what was called the new era of Monday Night Raw as he beat the... Here's the pin title on the line! It'll destroy your face. And an early kick out. It's gonna take more than that. Reflecting on Finn Balor's main roster debut, Byron said they called it the first episode of the new era. I like to think it was because that was my first night commentating on Monday Night Raw, but 
Has Finn had a fine night, too? You can be so self-involved, Gracie. Shoulders down. Oh, the win. Oh, to tear the features clean off your face. Two. And the champ kicks out. That would have been a shocker. Oh, nasty impact. Slip leg. Nicely done. Finn Balor going high risk. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Cody Ross. This one is over. Here we go. Take a look at this again. Yeah, that was nice. Finn Balor looking for the pin. The champion retains. Sending a message to the entire locker room with that win. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight.